Hi boys and girls, I'm Susan Harris and this here is Smokey. I have his picture on my mug, I have his picture on a frame, but Sir Smokey is here in person. Our children's segment is called Read with Smokey and I am super happy to have Smokey here in person. He is Sir Smokey. Smokey, would you look at the camera? He is of Lynx Siamese breed. He's got clear blue eyes. And as you can see, he looks as if he has just passed through smoke with his uh, grayish color here. He's got stripes that I can see. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But Smokey here is just very much a, an integral part of today's feature for our children. We actually have five cats and some still kittens, and they will be featured a little later in the episode. One of the hats I wear is that of Arthur. An alphabet on the farm was inspired by Sir Smokey right here. Come back, Smokey. Come, let everyone see how pretty you are. There you go. It's really super special to have him here, which is the reason why we decided to film on their location at the barn with all these lovely hay bales around. It's their play house. So I came here instead. And a French version, L'Alphabet à la Ferre, is also available. Now Smokey, he has just scampered off. Actually, I got the idea while playing with him one day. I can count his stripes, I can count his whiskers. He had 14 on each side. And so uh, the idea of teaching with Smokey uh, arose. And I thought a little bit more, and this book was a creation of Sir Smokey's inspiration. In the book, each letter of the alphabet introduces a word we use on the farm. So I am going to share this book that I have written, which I have dedicated here for children who have experienced the delights of a farm. For those who have not, I bring the farm to you. And the writing at the back, the summary says, have you tasted milk? Do you know where the foods you eat come from? If you guessed a farm, you are correct. Farms are exciting places where crops are grown and animals are raised, like barren aka Winter, who has just joined me here without being cued to come and share some of the delicious meal to also show you some of the beautiful animals we have at the farm here. Also on the farm you can find trucks and tractors, cherries and berries, wheats and oats, kittens and cows, fields, trees, and a whole lot more. Have you ever visited a farm? Have you ever lived on one? If yes, this book will preserve that special memory. And if you have not visited a farm, this book will bring the farm to you. I'm going to just place my little helper a little off to the side. He is so beautiful. He is also what they call a snowshoe Siamese because he's got those white paws. I prefer to call him a French tip Siamese. His mother's name is Paris and he's got those French nails, as I like to call them, and all his chocolate points. But he is exceptionally furry. He has got the longest hair of all the Siamese that we have at the farm. He he is only actually three and a half months old. Imagine that, he just looks really big. But Winter, AKA Baron, is actually just a young kitty. So, I hope you can see beyond him here. The letter A is fittingly for animal. We have one right in front of us. And boys and girls, an animal is a creature that is able to move around on its own. Now notice in the book, you can, go, you can do more than just looking at uh, letters. You can actually name the animals that we have here. You can name colors. You can do some counting of how many uh, items there are here. You can look, you can group them. We have animals, we have buildings. So boys and girls, when you are 
learning, when you are reading a book like this, you can do much more than just identifying a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, and its pronunciation of ah. Moving on now to the next page, which of course is the letter B. B is for barn, and here we have a beautiful red one. A barn is a building where animals, equipment, and crops are kept. C is for combine. A combine harvester is a machine that is used to cut and gather grains from the field. This particular model is called a straight head combine. D is for dugout. And you know, boys and girls, how you drink from a water fountain at school? Well, the animals have their own water fountain in the field, which farmers dig out a hole in the ground. It's filled with water, and the animals can drink from it. So we call our water fountain for the animals a dugout on the farm. E is for X, and I feel that each of you here have eaten an egg before. An egg is an oval-shaped object that is formed in a hen's body, and it is used as food for animals and humans. After E comes the letter F. F is for farmer. And a farmer is the person who owns or operates a farm. Beautiful as the animals are, and great as the crops and equipment are, we need a human person dedicated to look after all of this. And the farmer does this job. G is for goat. Uh, this is such a cutie pie little goat here. A goat is a small animal that provides milk and meat. I actually see another one of my little kitties trying to make her way up to the table. So we're going to invite Summer to come along and join us at the table here. Come Summer, nice kitty. Ah, come show everyone how pretty you are. There you go, you can have a snack. See Summer is also Siamese. And she is free to just sit wherever she wants. She's very beautiful. Come, come here. See how beautiful Summer is? So boys and girls, H is for hay. And right behind me, you can see all these lovely hay bales, square hay bales. And hay is simply grass that has been cut and dried for animals to eat. It is packed in round bales in the picture here. And we have square ones for all these little beautiful kitty to play, jump, 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 hide and see, scratch, scratch, scratch. All of the lovely games they like to play. I is for irrigate. And irrigate is a big word simply meaning to bring water in for, to the crops and the land. Because sometimes we don't have water or enough rain. So there is often a piping system underground to bring water in. J is for Jersey cow. I'm going to put down my little friend. Summer is her name. You can admire her while I show you what's going on here. Are you having fun? I am having so much fun and I'm so happy that you tuned in and that we can share all of these pretty little kitties with you. So boys and girls, J is for Jersey cow. And a Jersey cow is a breed or a type of cattle that produces high quality milk. So that milk, that chocolate milk or that white milk you may have drunk for breakfast this morning may have very well come from a Jersey cow. K is for kitten, and a key word all along. But ironically, the kittens are not here. A kitten is a young cat. I see one of my kittens are coming back. So here is my kitten. Uh, this kitten is Summer, and she is only three and a half months old. She was born on August 20th. L is for lentil. And boys and girls, a lentil is a small flat seed that is cooked in soup or eaten as a vegetable. M is for mud. Do you like to play in mud? Mud is soft, wet, 
earth. And we see it not only on the farm, but we do see more of it on the farm. N is for nest. And a nest is a place where birds and animals keep their young. O is for oats. There we have some oats in the bowl here. And oats are simply a type of seed used as food for people and animals. Did you have oats in your porridge today? Or did you have some oats in your granola bar? Those are examples. So when next you're having some, just look at it and remember alphabet of the part. We move on now to the letter P. P is for pasture. A pasture is a piece of land where animals can eat grass. And here we have the horses. And as I was saying earlier, uh, throughout the book, you can do counting. Let's count our horses here. One, two, three, four. Then again on this page, you can probably look at colors. You have green. You have a very dark forest green. You have a kind of a light aqua blue. Then you have a baby blue. And then a little bit that tapers off to gray. So boys and girls, you can do lots of things with this book. On to the letter Q. Q is for quail. A quail is a type of bird with a round body and a small tail. R is for ranch. And a ranch is a farm where animals are raised. S is for silo. A silo is a tall building that is used for storing feed. This is the silo, boys and girls, with the ladder on it. And years ago, silos used to be dug in the ground. After S comes the letter T. You were right. T is for tractor. A tractor is a vehicle with large tires that is used for pulling heavy equipment. See the tractor there? Now to the letter U. U is for udder. An udder is part of a cow's body that produces and stores milk. There is the udder there. Do you know I have met some boys and girls who thought that milk came from a box or a plastic gallon? And that's because that's what boys and girls often see at the stores. But on the farm, we raise cows. We don't raise them personally. But many uh, ranchers raise cows and they get the milk, which are then go through a big process called pasteurization. But don't worry. You were too young to have to remember that word. And then the milk is uh, stored in boxes and gallons and placed in the grocery and your parents buy it for you. But boys and girls, milk comes from the udder of a cow. And to get chocolate milk, you simply add chocolate and it gets its brown color. Milk in its natural form is white. V is for vegetable. And a vegetable is a plant or a part of plant that could be eaten raw or cooked. And again, this is a lovely little exercise where you can just go and name all the vegetables that are contained here, as well as look at shapes, you can look at colors, you can decide which is your favorite ones, you can see which ones you like on pizza, which one you like baked. You can do so many things with this lovely little book, boys and girls. So we are moving on to the letter W. W is for wheat. We have a lovely picture of a wheat field here. And wheat is a type of grain that is used to make flour. Coming down to the end, I hope you are having fun as we go on to the letter X and our very cute Zalda sheep. And boys and girls, a Zalda sheep is a breed of sheep that is usually a small, a sheep in size, and it could be white, black, or dark gray. Isn't that a kitty? It looks as if you're wearing these lovely shoes. And we move on to the letter Y. Y is for yam. And a yam is a type of long, thick root of a tropical plant that is eaten as a vegetable. Now, yams usually do come with uh, fibers. This one has a lot more fibers than the ones you may see in the supermarket, but they do come with fibers. We are getting down to our final letter 
in alphabet of the five. Boys and girls, can you guess what it is? I am sure he said the letter Z. And we have another cutie animal just wrapping up our alphabet on the farm book. Z is for zebu. A zebu is a type of cattle that has a hump on its back and has got big horns and has got a large piece of skin under the neck that is called a dewlap. I wrote this book for boy, little boys and girls all over the world. So even though we do not have zebus in Canada or North America, we have them in other countries and continents, such as in Asia. So the rest of the book has a letter, an author's note, and I'm not going to yeah, read for you today. I will be reading that on another day. I just want to point out one thing about my letters, just in case we have any adults and teachers. In I have chosen to put the lowercase letter before the uppercase letter which is a reversal of what you may see in other phonetic and alphabet books. The reason for this is because we teach children the lowercase letter first and then the uppercase letter. So I structured this in a way that would match what we are doing at school. So boys and girls, this is alphabet on the farm in English and in French. The French book has a number of other pictures that are not contained in our English book, for example, U is for Eusine, and whereas in the English book we had U is for Ada. So they are two different books, and both of these books are available nationwide at Indigo Chapters, and you can also find them on my website at www.susanharris.ca. So thank you again very much for joining in our children's segment today. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please tune in again to my channel where you can find another episode of Read with Smokey, lovely, exciting little stories. Do remember to subscribe to my channel in order to get these notifications. Thank you very much, boys and girls. I look forward to reading you another story on Read with Smokey. Have a lovely week.